If you're looking to buy and sell stocks and make a ridiculous amount of money, or that's the idea at least, and results will vary, the way to do that is through a brokerage service. And in this video, I'll explain what a brokerage service is and by extension, explain what a brokerage account is and how to go about opening one. So stay tuned. Hey folks, Richard Walls here, and if you're new to the channel, what it's all about is helping you with career development and personal finance. So if you want to advance your career or grow your income, then consider subscribing down below and hitting the notification bell so you get notified when I post new content. So with that said, let's get to it. So when you buy and sell stocks, generally speaking, what's happening is you're buying stocks from other people and when you sell stocks, you're selling them to other people. But you're not exactly face to face with that buyer or seller. You're not on the phone with them. In fact, you're not even really interacting with them directly in any way. That entire transaction happens through an intermediary called a broker. Now, prior to the days of the internet and online brokerage service, if you wanted to buy a stock, you'd have to call up your broker, say, I wanna buy this stock, I wanna buy this many shares, and at this price. The broker, in turn, would go out and find one or more people to help fill that order based on the parameters that you gave to them. Once the order is filled, the broker gets a small commission from the transaction and now you own shares in a company. Today, that whole transaction happens generally online and in a matter of seconds. And there are many more brokerage service companies now today than ever before and most, if not all of them, have an online component to them. And some are pretty much entirely online. Now, many of these brokerage service companies, of course, give you the option to work with someone if you'd like. So if you have any doubts about investing or if you have questions or you want guidance or you're just uncomfortable investing on your own, you do have that option. But if you don't go that route, you'll simply be using whatever online interface that the company has for you to use. Now, I'll give you an example in a moment, but there are many brokerage service companies you can choose to use to buy and sell stocks, and I'll list a few of them here. You've got TD Ameritrade, which is the one that I use personally. You also have Vanguard, which is another service that I use. You also have E-Trade, Fidelity, and then you have two that are a little bit more app friendly or mobile friendly, I should say. Uh, Robinhood and Webull, these are extremely popular apps and you'll probably find no shortage of videos on these. But again, those are two of the newer brokerage service companies out there. And of course, those are just a few. Let me know in the comments though, down below, which ones you use and what your experience has been in what are your favorites? So I won't go into the pros and the cons of each of them because by and large, the core functionality is roughly the same. What's going to be different is the user interface, the usability, the convenience, and educational resources. But once you select one, opening an account is relatively simple. However, there might be some days worth of lag from the time you initiate the opening of an account to when you can actually transfer money to the account and you actually being able to use the funds in the account that you just moved it to to actually buy and sell stocks. So let's take a quick look at TD Ameritrade and we'll walk through really quickly some of the basic information you need to open an account. Some of the more obvious bits of info, your personal info like name, address, phone number, email, you'll need your social security number, of course, and also very important, you'll need your bank account info. So that's your account number and usually your routing number. And that's what you'll use to transfer money from your bank, obviously, to the brokerage account. Fairly basic stuff, but when you get to the bank account setup, it is going to require a little bit more verification. Some methods are quicker than others, but for example, one method is when you set up your bank account, they'll need some verification, what the brokerage service will do is they'll send money in the amount of less than a dollar. They'll send two amounts of money 
uh, that let's say for example it's going to be 65 cents in one submission or one transaction and maybe 12 cents in another transaction and what you have to do then is go into your bank account see exactly what those amounts are go back to the brokerage accounts setup and you'll just input those numbers and that'll be the verification that you're able to well for one that it is your account and that you're able to access the account. And once that's done, you can now transfer money. However, you will likely need to wait a few days before you can actually use the money that you just transferred. It takes a few days for the funds to be cleared. That is to say the brokerage service have done their checks and they verify this is, you know, <laughs> these are legitimate funds. So take that into account if there are any opportunities out there that you see to for example, jump into a stock, that there will be a few days where you may not be able to use those funds. Folks, I hope that helped explain what a brokerage service is, what a brokerage account is, and how to open one in a simple way. I didn't get into a ton of the nuance of what a brokerage service will allow you to do. I really just stuck with the simple concept of buying and selling stocks. But there's many more options out there literally options, you'll see that term if you get more familiar with investing. There are many more options out there on how to buy and sell stocks, but I'll save that for another day, another video. With that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you around.